Almonds are not only delicious but extremely nutritious as well. They grow in USDA zone 5 to 8 with California being the largest commercial producer. Although commercial growers propagate via grafting, growing almonds from seed is also possible. It isn't simply a matter of planting cracked almond nuts, however. Although almond germination does take a little know-how, propagating your own seed-grown almond trees is definitely a fun project for the novice or avid home gardener. Keep reading to find out how to grow an almond from seed. About planting almond nuts A little nugget of information that you may not know, almonds, although referred to as nuts, are actually a type of stone fruit. Almond trees bloom in February or March, leaf out and produce a greenish fruit that looks quite a bit like a peach, only green. The fruit hardens and splits, revealing the almond shell in the core of the fruit hull. If you want to try almond germination from seed, steer clear of processed almonds. As a result of a couple of salmonella outbreaks in the early 2000s, the USDA began requiring all almonds to be sanitized via pasteurization as of 2007, even those labeled raw. Pasteurized nuts are duds. They won't result in trees. You must use fresh, unpasteurized, unshelled, and unroasted nuts when growing almonds from seed. The only way to get such nuts is to get truly raw seeds from a farmer or overseas. How to grow an almond from seed Fill a container with tap water and put at least a dozen almonds into it. Allow them to soak for at least 8 hours and then drain them. Why so many nuts if you only want one tree? because of their uncertain germination rate and to account for any that may mold. Using a nutcracker, partially crack the almond shell to expose the interior nut. Don't remove the shell. Arrange the nuts in a container lined with damp paper towel or sphagnum moss and cover the container with plastic wrap to retain moisture. Place the container of nuts into the refrigerator for two to three months, checking each week to be sure is still moist inside. This process is called stratification. Stratification just means you are tricking the almond seeds into believing they have gone through winter. It boosts the germination rate of seeds which usually germinate within a few days of planting. Seeds can also be field stratified by soaking them overnight and then planting outside in the fall. The seeds will not grow until spring, but the stratification process will increase their rate of germination. Once the seeds have been stratified, fill a container with potting soil. Press each seed down into the soil an inch 2.5 centimeters, or so. Water the seeds and place the container in a warm, sunny area. Water once a week or when the soil feels dry 1.5 inches 4 centimeters, down into the soil. Transplant the plants when they are 18 inches 46 centimeters, in height. Almonds are not actually nuts. They belong to the genus Prunus, which includes plums, cherries, and peaches. These fruiting trees are usually propagated by budding or grafting. How about rooting almond cuttings? Can you grow almonds from cuttings? Keep reading to find out how to take almond cuttings and other information about propagating almonds from cuttings. Can you grow almonds from cuttings? Almonds are usually grown by grafting. Because almonds are most closely related to peaches, they are usually budded to them, but they can also be budded to plum or apricot rootstock as well. That said, since these fruiting trees can also be propagated via hardwood cuttings, it is natural to assume that rooting almond cuttings is possible. Will almond cuttings root in the ground? Almond cuttings will likely not root in the ground. It seems that while you can get hardwood cuttings to root, it is quite difficult. This is no doubt why most people propagate with seed or by using grafted cuttings rather than propagating almonds from hardwood cuttings. How to take almond cuttings when rooting almond cuttings, take cuttings from healthy exterior shoots that are growing in full sun. Choose cuttings that appear strong and healthy with well-spaced internodes. Central stem or basal cuttings from last season's grown will be most likely to root. Take the cutting from the tree when it is dormant in the fall. Cut a 10 to 12 inch 25.5 to 30.5 centimeters cutting from the almond. Be sure the cutting has two to three nice looking buds. Remove any leaves from the cutting. Dip the cut ends of the almond cuttings into rooting hormone. Plant the cutting in a soilless media which will allow it to be loose, well-draining, and well-aerated. Place the cutting with the cut end in the pre-moistened media down an inch 2.5 centimeters, or so. Place a plastic bag over the container and place it in a 55 to 75 F 13 to 24 C indirectly lit area. Open the bag every day or so to check to see if the media is still moist and to circulate air. 
It may take some time for the cutting to show any root growth, if at all. In either case, I find that trying to propagate anything myself is a fun and rewarding experiment.